This video is about what to do if you paint yourself into a corner and you think that you've reached a point where you don't know what to do. In this case, I have a large painting, it's 18 by 24, and I needed a visual connector. And I'm gonna show you how I solve that problem. So let's get started. It doesn't happen that often because usually I'm very strategic. I know exactly what I'm going to do in terms of my composition and, uh, and my uh, application, but things got away from me this time. So let me explain a little bit. First of all, I used a photo. Now the reason I used this photo was uh, my, myself, my daughter and Tom were having a celebration dinner recently, just a couple weeks ago, about something that had happened that was really exciting and the three of us participated and we, we did this thing. And so um, I just happened to be there I mean, I was there because I was part of the celebration and I took a photo. Now, what I did was I took a photo to preserve the memory for me. I wasn't thinking about it being a painting at the time. Probably should have thought about it, but you know, it was in the moment. So I took this photo and it captured the, the two of them, you know, and me in a sense, because I'm the looker. I'm the one that took the photograph. So sometimes what I'm trying to say is that when you take a photograph of something or you have a photograph of something, it really allows you to remember the moment better if you were to turn it into a painting. That's what I find for me. It makes it very personal and makes me feel even more connected. So that's what I wanted to do. And so I wanted to do a painting called The Celebration Dinner. Uh, now, you'll see the photograph in a minute because I'm going to show the various stages. And what I find is, you know, we talked before about not being a matchy-matchy painter because the goal was not to match the photograph exactly, it was to capture that moment. And so in doing that, I knew that I was gonna to have to simplify some things. So I did that, and I also knew that I was gonna probably have to enhance color a little bit, and push color, which I did do. The other thing that happened is this is a painting that is 18 by 24, which is the largest arch block that there is. And um, so what I find when you scale up is if there is a error in your painting or something that isn't resolved, it's gonna show up even more in the bigger size. So what happened, and I'll talk about it in the video that's gonna follow, is I painted myself into a corner. I was fairly happy with what I had done up until the very end, and I realized I needed a connector. And I'm gonna show you how I solved the problem by creating a visual connector. So let's get started. So here's step number one, and you can see the photograph. It's fairly dark, but what I was interested in is the moment. I just caught that moment. They were just settling down to start to eat. And my chair is vacant, but I'm the watcher. And what I really wanted to show was the connection between maybe the three of us, even though I'm unseen, and of course the, the dog in the bottom. It's pretty important to have a uh, that, that triangle going on. So I started with my darkest darks, which I knew were not going to, well, I, I knew my darks were gonna unify the painting because there's a lot of dark underneath the table. So I, I knew that, uh, first I wanted to get in my darkest darks. Then I went into my mid-tones. Here are my mid-tones coming in. And I established a sense of place and I felt like the um, spaces that were painted were looking pretty good as well as the negative spaces. So I hadn't run into a problem yet. Now, you know, this is the part where you're at the very beginning and you feel like, oh, I'm coasting along. This is going pretty well. <laughs> Which, if it lasts for a whole painting, it's a, it's, it's a lovely feeling. But, um, but it did not last. But I did take a few days to do this painting because I really needed to think it through. And maybe also because I was painting it for myself and, and, and the moment meant so much to me. Here's the darkness underneath the table, which matches the dark parts that I already put in. So I knew, I knew my pattern of no tan was going to work because I knew that I had my darks established and that this big shape underneath the table and beyond were going to be a real unifier or connector. And that's what I'm talking about here, our connectors. So that's working really well. The other connectors in this painting are, there are a bunch of, uh, quite a few rectangles and squares that echo each other. And I think that's really important. Those become connectors as well. The other thing that are connectors are colors. The grays are, are connectors. Uh, there are places where I used green and connected it by adding more green in other places, even if it wasn't there. Here's the place where I, I had uh, painted myself into a corner was I didn't have a connector between the two people. 
And in the photograph, there are very small paintings, that, three paintings that are hanging behind them. And I thought, okay, a repetition of three rectangles will work well, because remember, we're talking about the three uh, individuals here. There are three chairs. And then I thought three in terms of connecting shapes behind them. But it was really important to make sure that, um, that, that they were the right shapes and the right size. And so I experimented with that a little bit and came to this resolution. There is not a window behind them in real life, which it sort of looks like maybe that uh, alludes to a window or being outside. So this is a place where as an artist, you sort of have to use your artistic eye and decide how you're going to solve a problem. And in this case, I decided I would solve it by bringing those, uh, bringing those connecting shapes down and creating a green where they're really wasn't one, but where I felt like it was needed. So that's how to problem solve, in this particular case, yourself out of a place where you paint yourself in the corner. One of the signs that you painted yourself in a corner is just that feeling of it just feels unfinished and you don't know why. And sometimes it can be really helpful to ask someone else. Sometimes it just takes days of reflecting to think about it, but the answer always will come. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color, uh, please join my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.